Hey y'all, before I begin, I spilt water on my keyboard, and um, yeah, I cleaned up with my shirt, and fingers crossed that nothing bad happened to it, um, got a flight in about 14 hours, yeah, 14 hours, and um, yeah, I was just thinking about something all throughout the day. But first, I need to pop and show you this sweater that Timmy gave me. It's, uh, you want to wear it on the plane tomorrow? It's um pink. Anyway, um, all throughout today, I I look like I have. A really bad eye. Um, all throughout today, I was thinking to myself, "What is mom and dad really going to say when they found out? When they find out I was telling the truth?" Um, I guess this is a continuation of yesterday's video. But what are they going to say when they find out that I was telling the truth and going to the same places? Today, they just kind of just brushed it under the rug. And pretend like nothing happened, but like bullshit. You don't just fucking threaten me <laughs> for the umpteenth time <laughs> and just like expect to be just get away with it. No. Mm -mm. No. Um. I wanted to tell you a story. It was a story from yesterday. Um. I guess to tell that one with a bit more fact, um, I should tell you the the one from um, second day in Tim and I's relationship. I took Tim to this outdoor mall, La Santera. Um, and it was, I'm not going to lie to you, the best day of my life. Um, I remember I was hyping myself up all throughout the drive to his house. And um, <sighs> I hyped myself up all the way to his house. And I, we were talking earlier a while ago and he said he hadn't read Bird Box and I really love the book the book Bird Box. It's really good horror. Um movie it's kinda different. They had who the fuck was like a lot of these people. They bastardized so many of these people. And had Ken and Mallory as a black woman, so hell yeah. But you know Netflix made it, um, what's her name? Uh, Sandra Bullock. Nothing against Sandra, but, uh, yeah, doesn't fit my head canon. You know, that's just a fandom problem. Um, so, pull up, pull up to the house. He comes in and he, he looks great. It's absolutely amazing. Um, fiery red hair, blue sweater, and, and some bootcut jeans with uh, heelys on, but the heelys didn't have wheels. We get in, and I wrap this book up with cellophane wrap, just like. And just <laughs> obscured it all. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, you didn't. He tries peeling back one layer of cellophane. <laughs> I start cackling because, you know, I put like 90. <laughs> and, um, he ended up just like, yeah, ripping the cellophane off. And I'm like, oh, strong. And, um, 
got to Lost and Terra, and I took him to get ice cream first. Yeah, we went to get ice cream. Well, gelato, but same difference. Um, so I ate mine quickly, and he ate his slowly, and I was just like watching me, and I'm like, oh, it's rude to watch people eat, so avert my eyes. And then he's, he told me later, he was just like panicking, but you know, it's whatever. Um, he went to the spice shop and got honey sticks, and we raced each other down, like, a sidewalk. We window shopped at a Claire's, and then we realized, oh shit, Claire's is expensive as shit for no reason. Like, why does Claire's have to be that expensive? 37, not 37, it was 31 dollars for a set of earrings. Excuse me, Miss Claire's. Why? No. No. Who's going, who's going to pay 30-something dollars for earrings? <sighs> Unbelievable. Hacking Claire's. Um, so after, after Claire's, um, I started rambling about chess, and he, he, he pointed out a chessboard, a giant chessboard on the ground, and I'm like, oh, do you want to play with me? And he's like, yeah, sure. And then some, some freaking nine-year-old came up and he's like, ah, hey, let me play with you. And I'm like, sure. And, um, I let the nine-year-old win, but then the nine-year-old's mom came in and she was like instructing him. And I'm like, we are strangers, lady. You know that, right? Like, for all you know, we could be like, murderers and you're letting your child talk it was all fun and games until the lady came in that that's what really made made me not like that kid but you know it's whatever it, it it's whatever it's really nothing not a big deal um we went to traders trader joe's and we got some oats because there were ducks there and we read that ducks can eat oats not bread and um we fed the ducks we also ate the oats like with our hands just stray oats <laughs> and um we climbed a tree um <sighs> that time i i looked at my phone i'm like oh shit i should have picked up mom like two hours ago oh god and, um so i say oh, we gotta go but on the way out uh, we see a sign that says, hey, please don't feed our ducks. And I'm like, ha 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 ha. Last and we fed them a whole tin of oats. <laughs> um, so I'm hauling ass to get to my mom. And mom's like, yeah, don't worry about it. I got picked up. And so uh, I ask him at the stoplight, hey, uh, where do you want to go? And he's like, um, I know this place, and so he takes me to this park, and we play pirates until the sun goes down. <laughs> um, <sighs> the other parts are just like. Everything after that is like something straight from um, a teen rom-com, but unfortunately we can't live in that rom-com forever. Uh, the next day, um, I picked up my mom and she looked just like angry, just straight fuming. She, um... She told she asked me, hey, well, my brother got out of the car because I picked him up from football practice too, and, um, she said, uh, who were you with yesterday? i before you say, I already know the answer. And I'm like, trying to, <laughs> I, I wasn't ready to come out then, like, at all, just like, 
as a bi trans woman, I was not ready to say I was bi at that point, and because odds are that mom wouldn't take it too well, and she did not. Um, I, had to, I told her um, I was with Tim, and essentially she said that um, you can't do that here. Uh, we will pull our resources from you. And I'm just like freaking out at that point because I don't got enough money to, to support myself. I don't have a backup or a place to stay. Dad comes home and he gets filled on this and essentially after an hour and 30 minutes of both of them yelling at me on why being gay is wrong, which it really isn't, um, and I'm not even gay, <laughs> uh, <sighs> it, it, it comes down to either break up with him or lose it all, and I'm, I remember sitting there, and I'm just like, being yelled at, I'm like, I know what choice I'm making, I'm staying with him, I'm, I'm going to stay with him, and I did, we came up with this whole thing, um, but yeah, that's another story, but there's something dad said to me, um, there's something he said to me, just, it sticks with me still. I see you, demon. He said, just like staring into my eyes. What is your name? And he was like serious about this. I laughed it off because, like, you know, that's bad shit. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, after I fell asleep at Tim's house and got home, um, you know how, like, in Stranger Things, Vecna sort of uses, like, telekinesis to push and pull people? Um, yeah, Mom said, come here. And she did the finger thing, and I, I kind of felt myself just, like, whoo, float towards her. But I didn't really float, I just walked. And she just, like, starts screaming at me, like, at the top of her lungs. She starts slamming the, slamming the wall around her, screaming how, how, um... I shouldn't take her kindness for weakness. And I'm like, <laughs> it's like, um, at that moment I thought, is this a war? <laughs> just like, as a passing thought. Cause sometimes, sometimes your mind just like drifts. But, yeah. They didn't take it too well. Because apparently I'm overcome by the spirit of homosexuality. <laughs> they, um, not in between this, uh, dad was being an asshole, as he does, and, um, this is like a few weeks before this happened. Um, I'm going over to Tim's house, and Dad's just being difficult for no reason. He... He asked me what my password is for, for some... Some account or something, I don't know. And I tell him the password, and, um... It's not a very nice password, honest, honestly. But it's something I remember. And so he says, is that what you are? And then I say, I learned from the best. And so I go outside, I get on a bike, and then he's he just like, he starts yelling at me outside. And I'm like, we're outside, there's people present. He wouldn't do anything bad. And so I, I tell him I'm leaving. And then he just like runs, like get out runs at me, just grabs my face and... <laughs> Yeah. Grabbed his throat and just like pushed him back. And I'm like, don't touch me. And uh, 
Then he tried to touch me, and I just left. Um, anyway, he ran at me again. He, he just, like, grabbed my arm. He was like, Spirit, be gone. Be gone, Spirit. In the name of Jesus, be gone. And I'm, I'm just, like, freaking out at this point. And I'm like, don't touch me. And he's like, and both of them are like, why can't we touch you? Oh, why can't we touch you? And I'm like, because you're fucking scary. That's why, you motherfuckers. <laughs> and, uh... I didn't say that, obviously. I wasn't trying to get my ass beat, but yeah. Um, <sighs> so, this brings me to my other point. You have to pick. I, I made a poll on my Instagram. Um, at Lord underscore V. Uh, let's see what we got so far. So we got, um, the question was, what's more important, ideas or family? 62% of people said family and 3% and 38% uh, said ideas. Now, Christianity is an idea. Religion as a whole, or a lack thereof, is an idea. Family. Family is what's in here. Family is what's in here. And family is what's in here. They care more about their fucking idea. Their silly fucking, ooh, I, I gave up my weekend for you. So, uh, yeah, give me your soul. Nya, nya, nya. Type fucking walking on water type bullshit. Than <laughs> your own family. They said, they said it's not that we, it's not that we don't like it it's that we don't we cannot support it because of because of our our religion and it's not your religion it's an idea it's your idea of it you can take 900 different verses from there twist it all into something else i will do that right fucking now Let's go, Joel 2-1. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarms on my holy hill, for the day of the Lord is coming. This was when dinosaurs were supposed to be walking. Where is the day of the Lord then? Hmm? Or, 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 or even, uh, sound, sound the holy alarm? Now, we can interpret that as siren. We can interpret that as uh, nuke sirens. We can interpret that as literally anything. And it's nothing. It's an idea. And you choose that over your family, and that is sickening. It is disgusting and sickening. It hurts me to my core. Because then what? You lose it all. Lose it all. No friends, no family, no nothing. You're stuck with you and your idea, and then what? And then what? You wait for nothing to happen, because nothing will happen. Sitting here now, I see that, um,
there wasn't really family. If I was afraid and then I had to learn by seeing other people over and over again, confidently go to their parents, confidently talk to them, I, I, I could see it and then I could be afraid of them. That's not a family. No. Family is made from love and not fear. I think at one point in life we were, but clearly not. They want me to be afraid, but I am not. I am not. I have love, and I know what's right, because I choose family over some silly fucking idea of what's right and wrong. It's not, not even about this silly fucking book, just what's right. Anyway, I don't want to get all serious, but here I was, 21 minutes in, and I'm all serious. Um, did I tell y'all, like, why I was gone for a while? I was a really dumb kid. A really fucking stupid kid. Um. And. Ah. Uh, we did. By we, I mean me and some friends did a lyric prank. On um, one of our friends, we haven't seen them in a while, and turns out this prank was in very poor taste. Um, the kid's mom found out, and uh, threatened to call the cops. I freaked out, and um, she said, "Let me talk to your mom," and I gave her my mom's info. Just. Just like that. Um, mom. I blanked out a lot of this just for my own sanity, but from what I remember, from what I remember, just she started screaming at me and then just like ran me through a door. Just like. I knew I could just like sidestep and avoid, but like I didn't. She just slammed me into a wall, just like started wailing on me. Um, There's pretty big blank space, and she told me to delete my YouTube account because I was really big into YouTube then. I told her I didn't know how to do it, and she left the room. And I remember this one because this one was the first time I got my ass beat and I didn't cry. Um, she came back with a hammer and she told me to put my hand on the desk. This hand. She, uh took the hammer just right next to it and she's like delete the account right now and I'm like I'm trying I don't know how and she's just like slammed my head into the desk and uh it bounced back up and she tried and <laughs> it bounced back up and she uh she thought I was trying to avoid 
when she came back, she put the hammer down, she came back again trying to hit me, and she missed. And she thought I was trying to avoid, so she just, like, again. <laughs> and, uh, um, she ended up deleting the account for a minute, and um, then we couldn't figure out how to delete my Roblox because <laughs> I was really into Roblox, too. Um, did y'all know Mr. Beast hit 100,000 subs today? I'm like, he was at 10 million, not 100,000, 10, 100 million. I believe he's the third channel to do this. Just like today, I, um, woke up, I was playing Fortnite, trying to grind to level 100 to get Darth Vader, as you do. And, um, <laughs> he, um, I, I open up my phone and I see a, a hundred mil live stream. I'm like, he was at 50 million not too long ago, 10 million, like, a few months before that. Wow. It's really fast growing. And, um, yeah. <sighs> Turns out, a hundred mil. Um, going a bit back, uh, hold on, y'all shouldn't see these uhs and ums. Um, I used to stream on Reddit, said I would come back, but I never ended up doing that. Um. I kind of felt bad, which I did, but wasn't worth the risk. Um, I used to sneak out and ride my bike out somewhere. Later streams, I drove and uh, I would play ukulele. I'm just thinking about that. I remember, remember one night. I remember I um I had I did this really cool thing where I um set up the camera on the bike holder and I moved like this little plastic thing just around the um, the front end which means I really had to be careful when I was touching it but you know um I was riding down riding down um a usually very busy street, but at night it empty, gone, no one there. And um, and so I'm trying, I'm trying to think ways to keep this crowd entertained. And so I, so I just remember Queen. I'm like, eh, and I look up, over at the chat, and just like, everyone's saying eh too, and I'm like. <gasps> Yes, <laughs> and yeah, that's a highlight. That is a highlight. Um, I was thinking about just like oh I'm 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 packed up like right over there and I'm just like that's a that's an impending clock cuz right when I get back pack up and gone take that bag posters on the wall it's going in that that box over there All the sentimental shit. Computer. Let's go into. And. Yeah. Thought I'd be a kid. Just like. 
for a minute. And I knew when I stopped being a kid, it was, um, oddly enough, it was that night when, um, Mom, what's mad? The part that, that makes me sad about that is, like, she just mumbled sorry after that, and that was it. I mean, it's better than nothing, but... Yeah. Um... I think it was that night where I realized I wasn't a kid anymore. I was, um... A teenager. And... You'd think you'd stay a teen, at least for a little longer, and that senior summer break just will end, and we'll keep this rainbow cotton candy daydream going, and then he realized he got a trip, and... Thirteen hours. Thirteen hours. It was fourteen hours before. Now it's thirteen hours. Unless you got a trip in thirteen hours and ain't nothing you could do about it. You're going to move somewhere alone with none of your past friends with a commitment to visit every two weeks because it's only a three, three and a half hour drive away. Um, you're I guess what I'm getting at is, um, you're going to be alone again, and, like, that's okay, because at least you have the memory, you have the memory of, um, of your childhood, but now you gotta put that back down and keep going. Like, here I got two necklaces. I got this one right here. This one was from uh, my bestie May. Shout out to May. She's she's cool. And this one is from Tim. It's a heart locket. Um, May disappeared for a while in um back in back in school, and like she was gone for two days. So I'm like, all right, Sherlock Holmes mode, and I just like every bit of information. I, I did. I searched everywhere. I waited at her house for a good 15 minutes for her dad to show up at the door. I was going to write a note and leave, but you know, I waited and he came down. And he's like, oh no, I haven't seen her. I, I went through pretty great lengths and she's okay now. And that necklace became a part of my wardrobe. It just dangles around my breast pocket um, as a constant reminder that um, friends are your family and um, and if you if you really care about someone you want to travel the distance for them it's not 
halfway thing, sometimes you gotta meet them the full way. Because sometimes they don't want to be seen. That's not what happened with me, but yeah. That's so, um so I figured. Funny enough, this paperclip, I robbed a bank. Um the the for legal reasons that's a joke. Um there's this uh <laughs> paperclip on the counter and I just whoop, swept it, put it in my pocket, and boom, high stun. But you know, it's a joke. All 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 it's all a joke. I didn't actually rob a bank. Um but we got it. It's, it's, it opens up inside. Uh, you can't see it, but that's us. That that's us. And he put a little note here. And this just goes around my neck. I haven't really had the chance to wear it because uh, we got a better one. And uh, this one stays with me pretty much all the time. I really like him. He makes me happy, and I feel safe around him. After the ICU demon incident, um, I told him what happened, and I said, look, you can go and it won't be a problem. I won't be hurt, but like you can go if you want to. And he said, "Hell no!" Like right after. And Tim's a real one. I, I fuck with him. People just say, hell nah, like right after you say, you can go if you like, cause things might get bad. That's, those are the real ones. Um. Gotta just like, not be afraid sometimes. Because, you gotta just, Keep moving. The second you stop moving, that's that's when you fall into the trap. That's the trap. Stop moving. You gotta keep moving. And yeah. That's it.